morning, it's the last week of March and I'm back out here with John. Um, we're actually building swims and uh, I left the rods out this morning, which I don't normally do. And it's just ripped off with this lovely low 20. So I'm gonna slip him back and then go and carry on with the swims. And later on today, I'll have a wander around and show you how the swims and stuff are getting on and where we've got to in the last month since my last vlog. Cheers, buddy. Right, so we've had a digger out. Um, we hired a digger from England, brought the digger over, and then we've dug all the swims out. We've dug the hole for the cesspit and soak away and all the pipe work to come from the lodge and the angler's lodge. Um, we've graveled all but two of the, or all but one of the swims. Um, so the swims are pretty much there now. This week, Every day when we finish work, we've managed to get the rods out for a couple of hours in the evening. I've been winding them in to go to sleep because um, we're just shattered from the from the digging and moving gravel and things for the swim. So I have been winding them in to go to bed. But we've been getting them out for a couple of hours every evening and I've been averaging sort of three or four bites an evening, which has been good fun. Uh, I've caught fish to just over 30 pound. John's caught fish to just over 30 pounds. So none of the real big ones, but they are very, very active at the moment. We've got a group coming out last week of April and a group coming out the, the so we've got to be ready by then. And I think they're going to have a crazy week. You know, the fish aren't really getting fished for other than a couple of hours a day. And they're, they're showing all over the lake. Very active, still getting fed heavily. And um, they're quite clearly eating everything we're putting in at the moment. The fish are all zooming up in weight. So uh, hopefully, yeah, the guys that come out end of April are going to have a really good week. So the swim I'm fishing at the moment is called the Middle Swim. We got this finished the other day. I'm really pleased with this swim. It looks superb. Um, it gets early morning sunshine, then a bit of shade through the day, and then the sunshine again now in the evening time. And uh, then today we've done the swim next door, which is called Sunset. Um, similar, gets the sun first thing, shade in the day, and then probably gets the best view on the lake of the sunset. The swim directly opposite where I'm fishing at the moment, which is which I'm which is what I'm casting towards, is called Dutch. We finished that swim today, uh, and then the swim to the right of that is called the Orchard. That's a big double swim. That hasn't been gravel yet. It's all dug out and boarded and ready. It hasn't been um, gravel yet. And then the swim next door to that is called Red Tree. That has also been gravelled, but not the very front of it. Then up to the other side of me on this bank is. A swim called Frogs, one of my favourite swims, right tucked in a corner. And then you've got the South Bank swims, where you've got Virgins, Plateau and Corner. And all of those are completely finished with those four swims. So yeah, we're, we're pretty close now to being ready. So I'm not back now for a couple of weeks. John's still out here working away, obviously. He'll be connecting up all the pipe work, getting the boiler up on the wall and getting all the solar and everything working. So by the time I come back in a couple of weeks, we're going to have power and we're going to have water and so the shower will be ready to use and there'll be somewhere to charge your phones and bits and pieces like that um, and then when I come back out it will really just be um, tidying up and getting everything completely ready we're sort of halfway through building one of the toilets on the bank that I'm on at the moment so the composting toilets there will be a flushing toilet over at the lodge and um, we're going to put another composting toilet on the south bank as well so that'll be done the last week I'm here and I'm and then uh, yeah and then, then people start to arrive while I'm thinking of it, um, we do supply landing nets, unhooking mats and retainers so you don't need to bring any of those sorts of things with you which is great for you because it saves a lot of space in your car but also it's great for us because at least we know that we're not bringing anything onto site that we don't want here. Um, on that note we do still have some availability for this year so get in touch with the uh, details that will be left at the end of the vlog uh, and we are now taking bookings for next year as well so if you're interested then um, get in touch with us via one of the platforms available. So yeah, I'm not out for another couple of weeks. When I'm out next, I'll do a bit more filming and I'll make sure to get plenty of footage when people start coming uh, at the end of the month and I'll keep you guys updated with what's going on. Until then, tight lines and I'll see you soon.